Well, people across the country have been mourning the death of Arizona Senator John McCain. He was a maverick, very well loved and best friends with our senator here in South Carolina. Of course, Lindsey Graham. The six term senator died on Saturday after a year long battle with brain cancer. Chris Martinez has more from Phoenix. I've made mistakes, but I hope my love for America will be weighed favorably against them. Parting words from Senator John McCain, who asked this final letter be read publicly. The job fell to former campaign manager Rick Davis, who's serving as a family spokesperson for events celebrating the late senator's life. He was truly authentic, right? I mean, he, he strove every day to tell the truth. Senator McCain will lie in state at the Arizona Capitol here in Phoenix on Wednesday, on what would have been his 82nd birthday. Only John McCain could rig a big birthday celebration uh, for himself like this. A memorial outside the funeral home where McCain is being prepared for burial is growing, attended by fellow veterans. There won't be another John McCain. If you look around, how many politicians are like that? It's a sentiment shared by others who view the late senator and former POW as a hero and patriot. I didn't agree with everything he said and everything he did, but... Overall, I thought he was one heck of a nice guy. In his final letter, McCain addressed the country's political divide. Do not despair of our present difficulties. We believe always in the promise and greatness of America because nothing is inevitable here. Americans never quit. We never surrender. We never hide from history. We make history. Senator McCain will be laid to rest during a private ceremony Sunday at the U.S. Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Phoenix, Arizona. So many people talking about John McCain and remembering things, Darcy. So I got a chance to sit down with him two different times and do an interview with him. Um, and I think, do people remember that he was a fighter pilot, mm -hmm. that he ejected, that he broke both of his arms when he yeah. ejected and then right. was a POW? Um, and if you met him in person, you'd see he sort of had limited mobility of his arms still from that injury, right. um, refused to surrender. I mean, he just really is the type of patriot they don't quite make anymore. Right, and as we just heard in that story, again, Senator McCain will lie in state at the U.S. Capitol on Friday and be eulogized at a service at the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. on Saturday. And of course, one of McCain's closest friends in Washington was South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham. They teamed up on so many issues together. This morning, Graham tweeted saying, I very much appreciate the outpouring of love, support, Thoughts and prayers many of you have expressed since the passing of Senator John McCain. It means the world to me. Thank you. After McCain's passing on Saturday, Graham responded saying, America and freedom have lost one of her greatest champions, and I've lost one of my dearest friends and mentor.